Radio communications between the wireless valve output module and the wireless valve links or repeater are all LoRa two-way communication. Whenever the wireless valve output module sends a message to the wireless valve links or repeater, it expects a response. The response confirms the command and updates battery and signal information. The two-way communications occur every time the controller attempts to turn on a wireless valve link station. If the wireless valve output module does not receive a response after a retry attempt, the module will announce the error in the controller display on the wireless valve output module LED and with two internal beeps every two minutes. The beeps can be heard roughly 50 feet or 15 meters away from the controller in relatively quiet surroundings. The controller display will show the station number, or P for pump, along with an ERR error message to indicate which station failed to respond. The beep will continue until either the wireless valve output module can communicate successfully with the unresponsive wireless valve link again, or until you press the reset button on the back of the controller face pack. If the controller is connected to the web-based Centralis app, the software can also send a text message to announce the alarm to a mobile device. This will be worded as an overload message. To fix the problem, you must visit the site to perform diagnostics via the Hunter WVL app. Note, the app works at an unlimited number of sites, one site at a time. Most users will only have one system within Bluetooth range of the app, but the same app works on any site you visit. When an alarm occurs, use the Hunter WVL app to connect to the WVOM. Use the app to connect to the wireless valve output module, then go to the WVL screen. Press Details. Any wireless valve link with a red status icon has failed to respond. Press the Refresh button under any wireless valve link listed on the Details page to see if it will respond. Then update the battery and signal information. Please note that a wireless valve link that can't communicate will not be able to water any of its valve stations. Other wireless valve links will not be affected and will continue to water normally. The most common causes of communication failures are Cause, low battery. Solution, replace batteries or inspect solar panel, if applicable. Cause, environmental changes, obstructing vehicle overgrown foliage. Solution. Locate and remove the obstacle, if possible. Elevate the wireless valve output module antenna. Add a repeater. Cause, radio interference from other devices. Solution, try a different channel using the app to eliminate interference. Cause, WVL internal failure, lighting, etc. Solution, check wireless valve link LEDs and battery compartment for functionality. Replace the affected wireless valve link if necessary. Most failures are related to battery issues or environmental obstructions. The radio requires power to communicate, and when the batteries get down to around 6.5 volts, it can no longer reply to commands. Foliage can definitely have an effect on the wireless signal. It's possible for landscape plants to leaf out or grow over time and disrupt communications with a distant device that used to respond. New plantings, structures, or vehicles may also interrupt the signal. Routine on-site inspections and field maintenance should occur. To learn more, visit HunterIndustries.com. <laughs>